Hello, everybody. How's it going? Let's do it. Of the offense's play, especially when the defense wasn't shining as best as it did. Um, I would say, I would say, offensive play. Obviously, we didn't perform how we wanted to. We want to be the most efficient team out there. Um, you know, myself included, um, didn't perform the way that I wanted to. Um, I missed a few passes that I, I normally don't miss, all of these other things. And so um, I think there's small things that always lead up to big things, uh, make thing, you know, make those moments and things like that a lot bigger. Um, they make games a lot closer, um, you know, just, just the small things, whether it's a, you know, a, a pass play that I had to, to um, DeAndre Swift in the flat um, that I missed a little bit in front of him, um, you know, whether it's, you know, missing DJ a little bit on that, on that in route on the backside um, a little bit. Um, right in front of them, um, you know, all these all these small moments that happened throughout the game um, that, you know, felt like I was in the right place, the right time, and and, and I would say I was seeing it well, um, just missed and, and misfired um, and, and, and placing the ball where I wanted to. Um, you know, you, you complete a few of those. Um, Dre down the sideline on the left sideline, uh, they, they end up going cover zero, um, you know, end up missing him on a, you know, on a different page and things like that. So I think that was the – you know, the name of the game for today for the offense is just not being on the same page passing wise. And then, you know, run game, um, you know, we'll, we'll be better. Um, obviously, you know, it's great to get this first win. Um, and, uh, you know, we're all excited. We went to the locker room, celebrate. I sat down, enjoyed the moment. Um, and just watching all the guys celebrate, understand that I need to be better. I will be better. And then, uh, you know, uh, you know, just taking in the first win. Um, it's, it's unbelievable. I presume, I'm sorry, but I presume you haven't played a game this frustrating offensively. No, I have. I have. It was uh, not too not too far down the road. Uh, I hate that you bring it up, but no, it wasn't UCLA. Uh, kind of same defense, but um, not UCLA. It was it was it was it was the the green and gold team, or or, or blue and gold team uh, that that Cole Komet plays for uh, or played for. Uh, but um, but no, um, it was you know it was a, it was a frustrating game. Um, but the most important thing is that, and it and it shows a bunch of the the, the personality of this team. I would say, um, the be, the fight, um, the resiliency uh, that we had. Um, you know the like like when coach got into the locker room, he he got into the locker room and first thing he said was was, you know guys we we don't, you know this pass you know this pass. How much ever time that we had, um, you know, when we got into the locker room, I think it's around 15 minutes. We got in there, and coach was like, "Guys, in most teams that I've been on, all these other things, um, you know, y'all y'all walked in here um, and 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 said to each other that, you know, we're not going to lose this game. We're going to go out there. We're going to keep fighting. We got this. We got this. And we weren't shaming on anybody. We weren't, you know, defense not, you know, being on offense. All these other things, um, and 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 so." You know, it just it shows his personality, how much everybody believes in in in, in ourselves, the Chicago Bears. Um, defense believes in offense. Offense believes in defense. Special teams, um, and, and and so forth. And so, um, you know, we're we're great to get this win. Happy to get this win. Um, celebrating the locker room. It was it was pretty cool. Uh, first time celebrating in here. You said you you don't care about stats as long as you. Win. Yeah, don't care about stats. Uh, I feel I feel great. Um, I I be honest with you. I feel great. Um, I understand that. Obviously, the stats were, you know, where I wanted them to be um, and things like that because um, I want to go out there and perform um, um, and to the best of my ability and, you know, didn't do that today. And so, um, you know, we're going to get better tomorrow. We got this little period, you know, this these next 15 hours or so, and then, you know, you reset, you know, you get ready for Houston next week. And so, um, you know, we're, we're going to enjoy this win. I'm going to go dinner with my family, hang out with them. And then from there, uh, get back into it and, and, and get ready to go. Uh, we're going to be better next week. What was your vantage point on Tyreek's pick six? Where, where were you at that point? And just take us through that whole experience. Yeah, so I was actually um, I was on the bench uh, with, 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 with the coaches. And um, I actually called it out before, weirdly enough. Um, I was sitting next to Ryan, um, and, and, and I tell Ryan this is going to be a pick. Um, and... and uh, Weirdly enough, it happened, and, and he took it down the sideline, got up, cheered, got the two-point, um, you know, to put us ahead and, and, and things like that. Um, and so, uh, you know, it was, it was awesome to be able to watch that. Um, kind of lost my voice towards the end of the game, um, cheering on my guys. Um, and so it was, it was awesome. It was great, you know, defense for what they did today. Um, 17 points in the first half is enough, um, but to be able to come back out in the second half and shut them out is, is, is unbelievable. So um, we got a great team, um, you know, 
great brotherhood building here, and uh, we're going to keep going. Was the speed of the game what you thought it would be today? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I saw things well. I was. I was. Um, you know, a few passes that that you know may have been dropped, may have been missed. Um, you know, it was, I think it was just miscues. Uh, but speedy game wise, it was. It didn't. It didn't. Uh, it didn't. It didn't. I would say affect or change much. Um, I think uh, the miscues um, made it look made it look that way. But uh, miscues, misfires, all these other things. Um, a little bit of frustration um, uh, for not executing. Um, but other than that, no. You kind of mentioned it. You kind of mentioned it with the pick. But you faced this defense for like the past but however long you've been in camp. Yep. What was it like watching them on the other side against the Levis team? Yeah, uh, Keenan and and all the all of us, we always you know we always say that you know we can't we can't wait to watch these guys go out there because we know how good they are. We can't wait to watch these guys go out here and you know do their thing and and obviously it shows um, you know the brother brotherhood bond that they have. They've built over the past couple of years. Um, the guys has been playing here and obviously a couple of the new guys, um, you know uh, Ryan and Ryan Poles and Coach and everybody's done a great job getting all these guys here, but. You know, the guys go out there and execute the way they do and the way they did. Uh, we, we couldn't wait, and, you know, it shows you uh, all their hard work that they've put in. Caleb, 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 in, in, your, in your career, when you bounce back from a disappointing performance, yep. where have you found the, that strength in yourself, and does that apply here at the NFL level as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think it applies um, – whether it's a win or loss, um, you know, you, you expect yourself to play a certain way. You expect yourself to go out there and perform a certain way, um, to make passes, uh, whether it's just, you know, rather a routine pass or whether it's just, a, you know, a, an insane kind of whatever the case may be uh, kind of play. And so, um, you know, that, that didn't happen today. And so, you know, it's enough motivation for me. Um, you know, we're, we're going to, you know, somebody else's home this week too. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's a, it's enough motivation for me to, to go out there, get better um, this week, um, and make sure that uh, you know I perform differently uh, next week. There have been times in your career in college, high school, probably, where you've carried a team, where you've had to outscore the other team. Yep. What's it like just to wrap your mind around the situation where the defense and special teams put up a lot of points today, and just to be part of this young whole team effort? Yeah, that's uh, that's NFL for you. Um, you know, it's it's hard to win in this league, um, and. You know, to have a team like this, uh, to have an offense, defense, special teams, uh, players, coaches, all these, you know, all these people here. Um, you know, it's 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 the NFL, um, and so uh, it's hard to win this league. Uh, we're excited, um, but uh, you know, we got we got a lot more to you know get better at, a lot more to you know progress and um, you know get ready for this week. What, about what, your what, did, what, did, what did you feel emotionally today, and was it what you expected? Yeah, uh, emotionally, I was excited. Um, I was really happy um, to be here, be a Chicago Bear. I was really happy to to get out there on the field finally, um, and 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 you know get this get this first game going. Um, and you know, um, extremely happy now. Extremely happy when I got to the locker room. Um, you know, we got we got a lot more to get better at, but to get this win, first win in the books um, as a rookie, rookie, rookie starter QB, um, you know, for myself is, is unbelievable. And I, and I'm, and I'm happy. I'm excited. And I'm you know, ready to go. Caleb, it might be too early to ask. This, what do you think you learned from this game or what is going to be your biggest takeaway? Yeah, I got to go back and watch the film obviously. And, and, you know, figure that out, but, um, on a, on a deeper level, but, uh, first and foremost is just keep fighting. Um, understand that the team that I have, uh, here with me, um, you know, right in this battle, right in this journey with me, um, is, is, is the first thing that I learned, and, and they're unbelievable. Um, and, then, and then secondly, um, I, would say, I would say getting back in the lab, um, getting back with the guys, um, mainly the, 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 the wide receivers, tight ends, all these other guys, just to make sure that you know, we're on the same page at the end of the week, uh, making sure that you know, we go out there and you know, when, we, when we have these, these chances, when they want to go cover zero, um, that we make them pay. Um, and you know, we didn't do that today, um, but... We're going to get better um, in the future um, and, and, and the near future. So um, thank you, and uh, go Bears.